Hello, my name is Nora, and I'm going to read Angelina and Henry, story by Kathleen Hullabird, illustrations by Helen Craig. Angelina could hardly wait to go camping in the big cat mountains with Uncle Louie. I'll dance under the stars, he smiled as he spun around the room. Little cousin Henry set off his Panama hat. I'm going to be a great explorer, he announced. Are you fit and fearless? Uncle Louie asked with a wink. Big cat could still be up there. They set off early the next morning with Mrs. Mouse on cheese crumpets still warm in their pockets. At first, Angelina skipped and twirled along the winding trail. Then she noticed Uncle Louie disappearing up the mountain and a race to catch up. As they climbed higher and higher, Angelina began to feel very hot and tired. And Henry happily jogged ahead of her. You're too slow, Angelina, he teased. Big Cat will get you. My backpack is so heavy, moaned Angelina. Only another mile or two to go, Uncle Louie encouraged her. At last, they reached the top of the mountain and Angelina collapsed with a sigh. We've got to set up the camp before sunset, said Uncle Louie, showing Angelina and Henry how to unpack. Can we have our campfire now, asked Angelina, hopefully. You need to collect some wood, Uncle Louie replied, while I put up the tents. Henry scampered off into the streets. Let's explore, he shouted, waving his stick. We have to get the firewood first, Angelina reminded him. But it was much more fun exploring, and soon the two little mouse wings were deep in the forest. They played hide and seek and sword fighting, and they discovered a secret fort. Before long, they'd forgotten all about Uncle Louie and collecting firewood. When they finally stopped to look around, the forest was growing dark and shadowy. The wind was beginning to whistle, and the strange shapes loomed behind the trees. Henry dropped his head. I'm hungry, he whimpered. Meow! Something howled behind them. What's that? Henry squeaked. He grabbed Angelina's tail. Two large ears switched behind a tree. It's just sad, I whispered Angelina, pulling Henry into the fort. A black hair flashed by in the wind. Big cat's coming, wailed Henry, hiding his eyes. We'll just have to be brave, said Angelina, and she whipped out into the dark night. Shoo! Shoo! She shouted. Shoo! She shouted, waving her sword. Rain pedaled down and thunder roared. Then lightning struck and a big branch crashed to the ground. Big cat vanished. Poor Henry's whiskers were trembling. Angelina held him close. And while the storm raged around, around them, she made up songs and silly jokes to comfort him. Finally, the wild winds passed. Angelina was soaking wet, but she kept Henry cozy and warm. She gathered him up and set off through the woods, calling for Uncle Willie. Suddenly, Angelina stopped. Two yellow eyes were glinting through the trees. Angelina! Henry! Thank goodness you're safe! It was Uncle Louie with two lanterns. He hugged the little mouse wings and they carried Henry and then carried Henry to the campsite while Angelina lighting, with Angelina lighting the way. They all made the bonfire together and had a great, great feast of chestnuts and cheddar burgers. Angelina and Henry promised Uncle Louie they'd never run off again, and they told him all about their scary adventure. After supper, Uncle Louie played tunes on his concertina. concertina while Angelina and Henry danced around the campfire. Before bedtime, they sat out under the stars. I lost my Panama hat, Henry said shallowly. But we really scared off Big Cat, didn't we? Yes, Angelina agreed, and that's because we're both fit and fearless explorers. I hope you enjoyed the book, Angelina and Henry.